Here are five tips for biking in a car-centric city. One, avoid cars. When we drive, we might be used to taking all the most obvious arterial routes, but when we're biking, we gotta get creative to avoid those. Look for residential side streets that run alongside major roads. Even if an arterial road does have protected cycling infrastructure, I might still take a side street because it's quieter, less polluted, and safer due to the lower speed limit. To access the path in this video, I have to go about 5 minutes out of my way. I'm often happy to add 5 or 10 minutes to my ride to avoid biking on a road, especially with an electric bike. 2. Use the sidewalk or take the full lane. There will be times where you can't avoid arterial roads or you're in a rush and don't want to take a detour. In this case, I would commit to one of two options. If you're a newer or less confident cyclist or you're going to be going pretty slow, just ride on the sidewalk. It's technically illegal in many places, but very rarely enforced. Be careful around pedestrians and very careful around intersections, as drivers won't be expecting cyclists coming from the sidewalk. Consider yourself a guest in pedestrian space. If you're confident enough to bike on the road, or if there are just too many people walking on the sidewalk, ride right down the middle of the lane so drivers are forced to change lanes to pass you. Don't ride on the far right edge of the lane. It might feel safer, but all it does is make drivers think they can pass super close to you without changing lanes. If you take a lane, they can and will go around. It's really not that big of a deal. Again, I find it a lot more psychologically comfortable to ride an electric bike on a strode like this, because it's much easier for me to move with the flow of traffic. But I realize this isn't something everyone has access to. 3. Be aware of possible conflicts with turning cars. We're used to watching out for turning cars as pedestrians, but as a cyclist you'll have less time to react to a car turning into your path, so you need to be keenly aware of when such conflicts can occur. For example, if I'm going straight through this intersection, there are often a bunch of cars waiting to turn left in the opposite direction that can conflict with me. If I was in a car going straight, they'd probably wait for me to avoid getting in a crash, but when I'm on a bike, they'll often just try to cut me off. In this situation, I just make sure I'm ready to go, or even already moving when the light turns green, so the left turners have no chance to try and cut me off. 4. Don't feel obligated to use the bike lane. I talked about this in my other video on why cyclists might choose not to use a bike lane. Odds are, your city's traffic engineers are barely aware that bikes exist. If the bike lane looks like this, or like this, just ride on the sidewalk or take a full lane. 5. Consider using lights and signaling when turning. As much as I hate how being visible is used as a way to victim blame cyclists and pedestrians when motorists hit them, our current material reality is that people are driving massive death machines they can barely see out of. If you can mitigate your chances of being murdered without too much inconvenience, it's probably worthwhile. What do you think? What would your tips be for biking in a car-centric city? Let me know in the comments.